This particular airplane uh, is not the original Memphis Bell. The original is in the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Museum. This airplane flies as the movie Memphis Bell because she played the original aircraft in the 1990 movie of the same name. This airplane did not see combat. It was built late in the war in 1944 and stayed stateside doing training and other operational work just for the U.S. Army Air Corps in the United States. Well, now the airplane is used as an educational tool to encourage young people, but also all Americans to learn more about our history. We talk about aviation science and how that's changed. The airplane is owned by the Talashe family out of California, and the museum in Geneseo operates it under a management agreement. So we continue to operate the airplane, and the family supports us and supports the aircraft through that effort. I get to fly co-pilot in this airplane. I'm also the head mechanic, so I spend a lot of time with it. It's all volunteer work. None of our crew, none of our pilots, none of our mechanics are professional, get paid to do it. We all volunteer our time because we believe in the missions of the museum. This airplane, uh, it's, it's a very forgiving airplane. It got a reputation during the war, rightfully so, of being able to absorb a tremendous amount of damage in combat and still fly home. The airplane is very docile. It's uh, quite forgiving, uh, and you sit back as you're flying and you realize you're flying a piece of history that made such an impact during the Second World War, and it just it smiles from ear to ear the whole time. And that's something that we talk about and we, we try to express to people that these young men, most of them in their early 20s, many of them who'd never been anywhere, never flown in an airplane, had worked uh, in various jobs, sometimes on the farm, sometimes in factories, and they joined the war effort and ended up flying a combat position in a B-17 over Europe at 20,000 feet and just uh, was an amazing experience for them and, and we try to share that as best we can with the public.